doctor has ordered liver function tests, it means they're looking to see if you have some level of liver inflammation or damage. You'll see that the LFT is actually several tests all performed on the same blood sample. Each test measures the level of a specific substance in the blood that's either released by the liver when it's damaged or else shows that the liver is not performing its usual functions as well as it should. By looking at the level of each substance in the context of the others and taking into account your symptoms and medical history, your doctor can put together a picture of what's going on, get an insight into the severity of any damage and identify the most likely cause. Sometimes tests may need to be repeated to see if they change over time. So let's take a look at a typical LFT results form. This may not be exactly like the form you receive from your lab. ALT or alanine aminotransferase is found mainly in the liver and it's the best test for detecting hepatitis. That's inflammation of the liver. People with acute hepatitis often have a high level of ALT and those with chronic hepatitis have moderately raised levels. AST, aspartate aminotransferase, is found throughout the body, but mostly in the liver and the muscles, including the heart. In healthy people, AST levels are generally low, but when liver, heart or muscles are damaged, they release AST into the blood. ALP, alkaline phosphatase, is found in the liver and the bones. If other liver tests are high, it can be assumed that an increased ALP is coming from the liver. GGT, gamma glutamyl transferase, is used to confirm results when someone has high ALP levels. We use ALP and GGT to discriminate between liver and bone disease. Both ALP and GGT are higher in liver and bile duct disease, whereas only ALP is increased in bone disease. GGT is often higher in heavy drinkers. Total protein measures all the proteins in the blood, including the antibodies produced to help fight off infections. Albumin is the main protein made by the liver. Low levels may mean the liver is damaged or that albumin is being lost through damaged kidneys. Bilirubin is an orange yellow pigment formed when red cells break down. It's processed by the liver to be eliminated from the body. Increased levels show the liver isn't functioning too well or that blood cells are breaking down too rapidly. You'll see that your LFT results are compared against what are called reference intervals or reference ranges. These are a way of describing where most results will fall for the test. You may have results in your report that are flagged as being too high or too low. It's important to realise that this is not something you need necessarily be alarmed about. They may not mean anything significant in your personal situation and need to be interpreted by your doctor who will consider them in the context of your whole medical history, as well as the results of any other investigations you have had. If you want more detail about liver function tests, you can find it on the Lab Test Online Australasia website.